Santilli telescope is designed to detect antimatter in deep space. By antimatter, we mean an entity with characteristics that are the exact opposite of ordinary matter, including the index of refraction of light, which is opposite. As you can see in the diagram, we have two telescopes, the Santilli and the Galileo. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that the only real difference between the two is the lens. Notice that the Galileo uses a convex lens, whereas the Santilli telescope uses a concave lens. Now, when ordinary light passes through the uh, Galileo telescope with the convex lens, that lens focuses the light and can be recorded or the image recorded by a digital camera. Should antimatter light pass through the convex lens, it would merely be dispersed along the walls of the telescope and not be focused at all. Now, the exact opposite happens with the Santilli telescope. All right, now, if you believe you can view antimatter through these telescopes, you are out of your fucking mind. It simply doesn't work like that. That's, that's not how it's done. We need a giant observatory uh, to see into deep space, let alone to see antimatter. You can't even use a lens. It's, it's a complete negative charge of matter. It's the exact opposite. So it's not going to have light. It's, antimatter is a complete opposite. So it's not going to be even be solid. Do you get it? <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know what this guy is thinking, but it's not, this is not, we need the, uh, the CERN, the Large Hydron Collider, to make antimatter. And um, to, we run, you know, run our experiments through the particle accelerator. But we also have a uh, particle detector at CERN that, you know, tells us, lets us read what's happening. Because there's, it's not like you have a, a, a scope, a camera lens where you're sitting there looking at it happen. It doesn't work like that. Now this is on the ISS. All right, this is the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. All right. This thing is uh, attached to the side of the ISS up in orbit, and it uh, is looking for antimatter and dark matter, and uh, gamma rays, cosmic rays, um, and X rays, stuff like that. All right. And but it doesn't have a on it. All right. It has a, it has a detector on it, so it's like it's like a Geiger counter, uh, you know, radiation setting off a Geiger meter or something, a uh, Geiger counter. It's, it's fucking it. There's no nothing to view it in. It's just all the, the gamma rays and X rays and hopefully antimatter and dark matter will hit that that sensor. But it's not like we're sitting there actually seeing it. It's not like you can go around and look. Oh, there's the fucking piece of matter or antimatter right there. It doesn't fucking work like that. This guy is a fucking moron. Speaking of how bad he is, all right. Check this shit out. So this is where he gets published, all right. It's the American Journal of Modern Physics. Okay, well, I've heard of the American Journal of Physics, and I've heard of the International Journal of Modern Physics, but I've never heard of the American Journal of Modern Physics. So, you know, besides checking his bullshit out, which I, as soon as I read it, I knew this was incorrect, uh, we need to go and check these guys out. So, it's like, you gotta, you gotta source the fucking source, right? <laughs> uh, but this is what happens if you go to American Journal of Modern Physics. This is what you'll see, all right? Now, what's interesting is, let's take a look at their WOT score, their, their Watt score. It is fucking terrible. That's one of the worst Watt scores I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it's, it's fucking unbelievable. Look at what some of these comments say. This publisher is a well-known spammer to academics. Very low standards. If you are serious about your academic career, stay away from this publisher. If you want open access, there are much more reputable publishers to try. <clears throat> now, see, what he's talking about is... The American Journal of Modern Physics is an open access publisher, meaning anybody can go in there, you know, submit a paper, pay them $120, and they will publish your fucking paper. It doesn't matter what it says, all right? You could go in there and publish a paper saying the fucking earth is hollow and flat, and they, they've been sure, of course it is, you know, and fucking publish your work for you, all right? It's a complete fucking scam. These guys just rip off academics and people who want to get their papers published, and that's all they do. You know, that's that's their whole fucking business. And the 
Dr. Santilli, he's just, he's such a phony scientist, it's unbelievable. You know, look at this, if you, just these guys off this page. Now, now without looking them up, if you actually, um, if you do a photo search and search the photo, you can see all the different shit that they pop up under. All these different journals, but they all lead back to the same fucking group, the science publishing group, which is owned by Dr. Santilli. All right. He writes his own reviews, you guys. He's like tries to build himself up, but it's fucking bullshit. Trust me, I have plenty of fucking evidence to back what up, back everything up that I'm saying. Uh, but unfortunately, that will have to wait until the next video because I don't want this video to run too long. But I promise you, I have a ton of great evidence on it. It's gonna blow you guys' fucking mind. But I just wanted to get this out in the open that right now, just straight up, the physics should answer this alone. This doesn't work. This cannot be plausible it doesn't fucking work there's no math there's no science to it the paper that he wrote i read his fucking uh paper on it it is the most ridiculous fucking piece of uh, esoteric bullshit i've ever read in my life now this right here this is a gamma ray telescope all right does it look like it has a fucking lens on it no because it, you can't use a fucking lens to look at gamma rays and shit okay now look at this right here, you guys. This is interesting. Look what's on the, look at the shape of the, like, it looks like dust particles, kind of. All right? See that shape? Um, now look at these lights. Look how that is. I think that fucking, I think, like, these pictures are taken from the inside of a, a building, a, inside a window, and that was dust particles on it, and that's why effect. That's obviously a time-lapse um, effect. You know, this, this is a time-lapse photography. He tries to make you think that these are the um, entities down here in the bottom in the black. You know that? He said this was taken over the skyline of um, Tampa Bay. You know what I think? That green light and that red light over there are fucking traffic lights. That's what I think. <laughs> and I mean, it, and putting a telescope with a, a concave lens like that, uh, yeah, you're going to see n like nothing but black. You know, it's fucking, it's going to be ridiculous. You're not going to see shit. It's going to be too much magnification. You know, it's, it's fucking, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, if anyone else is uh, into physics or anything, you've got to go and read this, uh, the PDF on it. Oh my god, his, his paper on this is so fucking backward fucking crazy. I mean, like, he's just talking all kinds of fucking nonsense. I mean, he's, he's like trying to disprove... Einstein and fucking uh, and uh, the, you know, relativity and everything. I mean, this guy's fucking nuts, man. I don't know. It's it's fucking it's, it's fucking funny. I mean, you gotta read it. You gotta check it out. If anyone likes uh, science, I mean, you you'll find it fucking hilarious, dude. I really I, I was like I was it was kind of entertaining, you know. So I mean, this was a rather fun kind of investigation for me because I was like, wow, this guy is really batshit fucking crazy, man. I mean, like, you know, he's like, who pretends to be a fucking uh, scientist and shit? You know, this guy. But, like, I mean, like, if you were going to pretend, don't you think you would have, like, at least some kind of idea? Like, fucking, you don't have a clue. It's so funny. You gotta read it. Ah, uh, fucking. Anyway, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get done here. Look for, uh, part two. All right, you guys. All right, thanks.